We'll guide you through how to remove background noise in Audacity. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, have the audio ready. And now what we need to do is go and get a sample. So you need to sample the background noise which you wish to remove. So go and find a bit where you sort of two to five seconds of where nothing is happening um, and which you can then highlight like so. And then go and click effect at the top and go and click on noise removal and repair and click on noise reduction. And you then need to click on get noise profile. So then Audacity knows what to filter out. Then you can just click off it like this and then press control A and that will highlight it all or just double click. And then what you want to do is at the top is go and click on effect and then go to noise removal and repair and then noise reduction. Now we need to come down to step two. So firstly, we've got noise reduction and this reduces the identified noise. So what you wanna do is try turning it up. I do find though, if it's too high that it does start to sound weird. Then we've got sensitivity and this controls how much the audio is considered noise. Once again, if it's too high, it starts to remove too much and it will make your sort of actual audio sound a bit weird as well. And then we've got frequency smoothing bands. Pretty much keep this quite low. What this does is it sort of smooths things out, which may be changed by the other settings here. These are the settings I'm going to go and use. And after you've made a change, you can always go and press on preview and you can hear how it will sound. And what you can do as well is just press OK. It will then go and apply it. This may take a bit longer if your audio is longer than mine though as well. And then if you aren't happy with it after playing it back, you can always press edit and undo it and you can go back to the noise reduction settings and go and try again. But yeah, these are the settings I tend to use, but it's hard to give exact instructions as every audio is different. I hope you found this useful.